25 year old female patient is unhappy with her smile which of the following could be the reason for the patient's chief complaint so here in this question we have been given the clinical image of the patient's smile and we have to diagnose which of the following is the reason why the smile is anesthetic is it because the patient has a reverse smile arc or she has a narrow buccal corridor or there is a roll of the aesthetic line or both one as well as three now if you have a look at this image you can clearly identify that the smile is not very aesthetic so what are the factors that are contributing to this so firstly what we see is that the crown height okay the crown is not fully visible only from the middle third to the incisal third of the incisors central incisors is visible also there appears to be what seems to be a space between the incisal edge of the uh, maxillary anteriors and the curvature of the lower lip so this is the lower lip like this okay and there is this gap that is present between the lip and the incisal edges which is giving a, it a very anesthetic look so the incisal edges are if you connect the incisal edges from the canine of one side to the canine of the opposite side the curvature of the incisal edges is going in the opposite direction than the curvature of the lower lip so this is a reverse smile arc now smile aesthetics is a very important topic from an exam perspective and also the different types of smiles that is the gummy smile etc these are very important concepts okay so first let us have a look at what is the smile arc so smile arc is basically the arc that is formed by joining the incisal edges of the maxillary teeth okay so if you see here in this uh, image okay the incisal edge of the maxillary incisor okay or the central incisor is at one level the lateral incisor is slightly higher and so on and so forth as you go posteriorly so it forms a curve and this curve formed by the incisal edges is consonant or it's matching the curve that is formed by the lower lip on smiling so when these two curves are consonant it is known as a consonant smile arc okay and this is the kind of smile that we aim for after any kind of therapy either after orthodontic therapy or after any aesthetic procedure that is going to be carried out on the anterior teeth okay so the consonant smile arc along with that is here what you see there is a consonant smile arc there is full display of the incisors and there is 1 to 2 mm of gingival display so this gives a very youthful appearance to the patient and therefore this is the most aesthetic type of a smile now if the curvatures of the incisal edge and the lower lip do not meet or do not match then they are known as non consonant type of a smile arc this non consonant smile arc can be of two types either it can be flat where the incisal edges of these teeth are all at the same level so it appears flat okay now this gives a very old appearance or an old look to the patient because such flat smile arc is usually seen in patients who have reached old age and there is attrition of their teeth okay so in young patients when you have a flat smile arc it gives a very anesthetic look and the second type of non consonant smile arc is a reverse smile arc so here the incisal edges actually go in the opposite direction or the curvature of the incisal edges in the opposite direction as compared to the curvature of the lower lip okay it's in the reverse so the upper incisal curve goes this way and the lower lip curvature goes this way so it's opposite to that that's why it's known as the reverse smile arc this again is very unattractive or anesthetic and this flat as well as the reverse smile arc can be corrected by adjusting the heights or the brackets or the bracket height on the teeth during bracket positioning okay so we have to adjust it in such a way that it brings about some sort of either extrusion of the incisors okay so this can uh, it will help to bring about some extrusion of the maxillary centrals so that it will be at a lower level so that it can make the smile arc consonant okay now what about these other options that is a narrow buccal corridor and roll of the aesthetic line so a narrow buccal corridor will appear like this now this is uh, this area that is seen between the posterior teeth 
okay and the space that is between the posterior dentition and the buccal musculature okay this that is marked as yellow here that is known as the buccal corridor so whenever there is going to be a narrow maxillary arch there is going to be excess space that is seen between the posterior teeth and the uh, cheek musculature that appears dark so these are known as the buccal corridors and they appear very unesthetic especially in this case here you will see it appears this darkened here so it appears very anesthetic. So the correction of this kind of a smile can be brought about by expansion, expansion of the arch. Okay. And lastly, roll of the aesthetic line. So in roll, roll is where the rotation of the arch takes place in the vertical direction. So here you see this this side of the arch appears to have moved down whereas this side of the arch appears to have moved up so it is like a rotation is taking place in this direction right where this entire jaw has been rotated in this direction so this appears lower and this appears higher so it is ro pitch roll and yaw pitch roll and yaw they are on its own a very important topic okay from exam perspective which can be given again as an image based question and you can be asked to identify it okay so here this is uh, this is how a roll appears okay where there is a up and down movement along a vertical axis that is a rotation rotation type of movement so this is how roll would appear